r slash no sleep posted by you slash otherwise underscore pick underscore 2863 i work at a local pizza place to keep us safe the manager has many guidelines well to get this started i'm jared and i'm 19. i really don't remember much about how this nightmare started but here's what i do remember i just dropped out of college and after i picked up my bags i ran into this guy dressed as a pizza handing out flyers i took one and it was a now hiring flyer for mr mia's pizzeria it was a decently paying job about 15 dollars an hour at base and it fit my resume perfectly i called the number provided and left a message i put in my email and other contact info i got a reply three days later congratulations you're hired as a daytime pizza chef here at Mr. Mia's Pizzeria. Your first shift will begin at 7 a.m. and end at 3 p.m. We have set a small paycheck bonus of $1,500 to your bank so you can at least call someone if you do not have transportation. I was ecstatic when I read it. I arrived right on time for my shift. I went back into the kitchen where there was a big poster showing how they wanted us to act. Hey, don't forget to check by ingredients for your own copy said another chef. I grabbed my own copy. Here's each and every rule. Rule 1. Never, ever, ever, touch a pizza with your bare hands. It will probably make a customer sick. Well, that's to be expected. I muttered to myself. Rule 2. Don't throw the pizzas out the window. We had to put this here because someone did. We don't know why. Rule 3. You may not take more than 5 15-minute breaks each day. Rule 4. Don't worry. Breaking these rules will only result in a warning if you break them once or twice. However, breaking them three times will result in you getting fired. Rule 5, if you have to throw a pizza, at least throw it in view of a camera so we can have a good laugh about it later. I flipped the paper over to see if there was a rule 6. I was shocked, to say the least. Rule 6, if any cashier comes in, immediately ask them for the password. If they say anything other than pizza immediately shove them away and call management. You may hear them banging on the door. Rule 7, if a cashier comes in, gives the password correctly, ask them why they're here. If they say cheese pizza for man in the black trench coat consult roulette. If they say another reason, such as needing to use the restroom, ignore them. Rule 8, make a cheese pizza for the man in the black trench coat. I cannot stress this enough. After making the pizza, clip your fingernails, normally, as you would do at home, and add them to the pizza. Gross. But we have to do that. Rule 9. If your coworker comes back from their break with no pupils, well, shove them into the oven. Your real coworker will return. Rule 10. After shoving the fake coworker into the oven, it will turn into a pizza. This can be used as a substitute as nail pizza for the trench coat man. Rule 11. If a pizza looks like it's bulging, pour salt on it. The pizza will return to normal. Rule 12. Do not bake a pizza in DHE7TH oven to the right. This is very important because there are only six ovens in a row. Rule 13. If something that isn't mentioned in these rules appears, contact the number you called to get employed. They'll direct you from there. Rule 14. There are only 14 rules in here. If you see a rule 15, do not do what it says. Also, these rules can and will change at any time. I was very skeptical of these rules, so I decided to just cook pizzas for a bit. I kept cooking pizzas until 11 a.m when a cashier came in. To humor him, I asked, what's the password? Pizza he replied, why are you here? I responded, can I take a break? He asked, sure. After that, I just started to make small talk with my co-worker. What's your name? I asked him, Daryl. Listen, I know you're new, so you should probably know this. Always obey the rules. The guy who didn't follow them didn't make it. Daryl said, sounding maniacal. I stayed away from him after that. At noon, a cashier burst in. What's the password? I asked, a bit nervous. Pizza the cashier responded. Why are you here? I asked him. Cheese pizza for the man in the black trench coat. I cooked that pizza as fast as I could just out of fear, even if it was just a prank. I considered not putting my nails on it but Daryl beat me. He put his own nails on the pizza. He. Put. His. Nails on a perfect cheese pizza i was shocked i just stared at him for a bit jaw dropped then daryl decided to take a break finally peace and quiet i thought oh i was wrong i was so wrong i heard the door open 
looked behind me because I wasn't expecting the door to open five minutes after he left. I saw Daryl. His eyes had no pupils. I just grabbed a pizza cutter, threw the pizza cutter at the thing, and shoved it into the oven. I opened the oven, pizza. It seemed to be glowing. Daryl came back shortly after that. Long story short, the man in the black trench coat returned, and I gave him that pizza. He seemed to be very happy. When my shift ended, I went back to my tiny apartment. I was able to afford a new couch with that bonus, so I relaxed and watched YouTube on my old iPhone. Suddenly, I heard a knock on the door. I went out, and saw a letter. I opened it. Congratulations. You make it through your first day without breaking any rules. You have earned a raise to $20 an hour and a $500 bonus. Tomorrow, more rules will be added. I hope you enjoyed working here at Mr. Mia's Pizzeria. Hey, this is Jared again. After that gigantic bonus, I was ecstatic, so I returned to the pizza place. I was able to pay rent for the apartment and get some food. Well, day two was even harder than day one. First half, I was no longer cooking pizzas, since that was a low-risk job. I was promoted to a janitor. Got paid more but there were more rules. This time, I got the form in the mail. Hello, loyal employee. Congratulations on getting promoted to a janitor. You work from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Here is your new set of rules. Rule 1. Before leaving premises, you must sweep the floor in the dining area and wash all windows. Doing that will let you leave early instead of at 3. Rule 2. You are the only janitor. If you see another janitor, get them out of the restaurant. Through any means necessary. Rule 3. If you see a chef come to the cash registers, knock them out with a broom. Rule 4. If you see the floor start dissolving, spray the floor. This will make it leave the floor alone. Rule 5. If you see a customer come in with a red handbag, blue shirt, and brown hair, run and hide in the break room. Once in the break room, count to 14. Rule 6. If your broom looks a little off, red bristles, a bit more splintered, get that thing out of the pizzeria. We'll take care of it. Then, get a new broom from the break room. Rule 7. If you see black maggots on the floor, run to the break room and count to 14. Do not step on any of the maggots, this is the most important rule. Rule 8, if a customer starts to seem like they're decaying, give them to a chef. They'll take care of it and the normal customer will reappear. Rule 9, if a man looking like company mascot Mr. Mia comes in, run. Pray to whatever deity you believe in you'll be safe. Normally, I would be skeptical. But last time I was skeptical I was proven wrong real fast. I arrived at the place at 8.34. At 9, I started sweeping. It was about an hour before something happened. A chef ran to the cash registers. I immediately started attacking him. He was knocked out, I'm going to leave out the details. After that, I just kept sweeping. A bit later, a customer started screaming. I immediately looked at them and their face looked like it was falling off. I escorted them to a chef under the false promise of free food. I looked back, and the customer had returned. Face on. I just finished sweeping when I saw it. It had a red handbag. It smiled at me, but it looked very forced. I was terrified, but when I saw they had black hair I relaxed a bit. Until I saw his friend. Another customer had come in, red handbag, brown hair, blue shirt. They smiled, but it looked too wide to be human. I ran to the break room and counted to 14. Came back, they had vanished. I found one of my co-workers, tried to talk to them, but I realized far too late. He began to transform. So I shoved him as hard as I could. We were too far away from the door, so I felt doomed. Then I had an idea. The window. Some windows were ground level. I shoved him into it, and he seemed to phase through it. I just kept sweeping after that. I was about to finish sweeping when all of a sudden, a man looking like Mr. Mia came in. I ran into the kitchen, all the chefs seemed to be gone, and hid in the seventh oven to the right. I realized what I had done far too late. There were six ovens in a row. I just sat there and prayed. It looked like the oven was going underground. That thing came in and started scratching. Suddenly, the oven burst away and I tumbled out in a massive cave. I decided to go back in. After a bit of waiting, I returned to the restaurant. Needless to say, I was shocked. I found a small spot I had not swept yet and started sweeping. I felt a jab in my finger. I looked down, my broom looked so splintered it was about to explode. There was a drop of blood on one of the splinters. I threw the thing out the door so fast people probably thought it was a lightning bolt. 
I started heading to the break room when the floor below me fell away. I started having visions. I saw a person who seemed to be underground. I immediately broke away and sprayed the floor with tons of vigor. I made a beeline for the break room and started sobbing for no apparent reason. I had another vision. Two people, I couldn't see the details, just their outlines. They seemed like they were speaking. I began to question if this was even real. I got a new broom, finished sweeping, and started washing the windows. At the last window, small white maggots appeared on the floor. I panicked. This wasn't in the rules. I checked the paper. Rule 10, if small white maggots appear, do the same as you would do for the black ones. I was about to run, but then I remembered. Rule 10 wasn't there before. I decided to do the opposite as what the rule said. I stomped on them all, and then they vanished. I went home to a new check in the mail slot. It was $5,000. There was a note attached. We've decided to give you this bonus because of how you handled some things that didn't appear in the rules. Enjoy. That night, I had a dream. It was a conversation, I couldn't see between two. Are you sure about this? Yes, I am. Alright, if you really want to do this. I hope this works. It will. I'm sure of it. It has to work. If it doesn't. Do you fully accept the terms, conditions, and price of this? I do. Alright. No refunds, understood? Why yes. I woke up in a cold sweat. 